What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Mandarin Metal and today we are on rank Dota. We are playing Sniper and my matchup today is Lina. Honestly, the lane for the most part went quite well, but she harassed the shit out of me and it made my life a living hell. When starting our game, I looked at our picks and I thought, you know what, we do have a decent team. Uh, going into late game, we have, a, we have a decent team. We've got a PA that scales very nicely. We have Mirana ulti. We've got a Doom that can do some nice work. And you've got me and Avenge. So I honestly thought our game would go well, but the early game and the, let's say, the mid game was absolute trash we had a toxic pa the whole game eventually i had to just mute the pa because she was just honestly flaming everyone for every little mistake that happened to her and also that was happening in the team and it just it wasn't a fun experience so my advice when playing a ranked game and you are facing toxic players just mute them don't worry about them, just mute them and focus on your game. Try and connect with the team as much as possible. Now you can see here, I am fighting the Lina. I've got six one charges and I forgot to use the one charges. If I had used the one charges, I probably would have survived and killed the Lina, but I didn't. Mistakes were made and you learn from them. Now in terms of item build, I went to the Wraith Bands. This is going to help me in the laning phase. And then I went for Treads, keeping them on agility. And trying to change them whenever I need it. I decided to go help the PA at the top because she was struggling quite a bit and I just couldn't stand the Lina's harass anymore. So with the help of the Venge we do manage to secure the kill on the Pudge which was nice and the next item I do want to go for is going to be a Mask of Madness. This is going to give me life still and it does give me attack speed. Now we are trying to kill the Tusk at the same time but there's mass TPs, so we disengage because this is not going to be a favorable outcome for us if we do decide to engage on them. They've got Lina ulti. She's also got a double damage at the moment. So the best thing to do here is disengage, retreat to our tower, and see if we can kind of readjust. But now, they had taken the top tower, so I decided let me help our Doom because... He, was, he wasn't struggling, but they did go on him. You can see there's a mass TP over here. Now, I do have 10 one charges. I do overstep a little bit. The Tusk does engage on me, and I don't pop yet again my one charges, and I end up dying. At this point in the game, with the state of what we are in, I decided to go jungle. I had a Mask of Madness. I'm going Hurricane Pike next because I need to be able to get out of... A bad situation and that's just the hurricane pike is just going to help me force myself out of a situation that i don't want to be in but yeah i decided to go jungle because i didn't have enough items i needed some sort of escape because i don't have an escape sniper as soon as you jump on him he can do a lot of damage but he you can't escape and that's why i'm going pike now i do secure dragon lance and before I actually finish the whole pike, I do go Crystalis just because we were lacking some damage and the PA and the Marana were very far away from our team the whole time. They were doing their own thing. Our pause for Marana was farming like a carry. And this kind of made the game quite difficult. You can see now they are trying to engage on our carry but we managed to secure a kill on the pudge with this newly picked up chrysalis the damage did end up helping and now with sniper it's all about positioning if you are out of position you are going to end up feeding and that's why the void and the lena made it quite difficult for me because the void would just jump in chrono me and you know i'm out of the team fight i can't do anything and our PA ends up going down here. We weren't able to save her. I'm playing very cautiously at this moment because I don't want to feed any more kills. I'm just trying to 
make sure I can get enough farm that I can start dealing the damage that I want to deal. We do end up claiming the Aegis over here. Then our Marana, she does ulti. And the Void jumps in, but he jumps straight into Marana's arrow, which means we could kill him and he m completely misses his chrono. So we ended up having this massive team fight and this was probably the turning point of our game, this big blunder from them, because I was able to secure Pike and they weren't able to take much else from us. You know, they only secured our tier three tower. So I end up securing Pike and then after Pike, I'm going to go Maelstrom, eventually upgrading that into Milnir. With three heroes down, this gave us the opportunity to farm up some items and also just do damage control, set up some vision in the jungle. And you're going to see here why I was playing cautiously and why vision is so important. Because if I had seen the Pudge coming, I probably wouldn't have pushed this lane and he blinks on me and he ulties me but with myself being sniper the headshot damage i was able to secure the kill on him but the lena came in from the side and this meant i did end up falling but with that my team did respond the doom came in and we managed to secure the kill on the lena our pa is pushing their bottom tower and you know i take the trade it's a good trade it's their pause three and their pause two for for a sniper and you can see in my quick buy i do have milnir queued i am saving buyback i don't want to be caught without buyback especially in such an intense game we almost secure the kill on the punch but they blink in on me and the marana's ulti was absolutely perfect over here because they had zero vision for me and this meant that we could just turn around and absolutely destroy them. So there, they lost all three of their cores. And we didn't lose anything. So it was an amazing ulti from this Marana that I had to tip her. And this just gave me the opportunity to also get first Maelstrom. This is also going to help me farm a little bit more. And it's going to give me more damage in the team fights. Now we do see they are top. And we are currently very strong. So we are going to engage on them. Stage they do currently have a 10k net worth. Obviously, we don't know this at this point. I take aim onto the void. And with the Marana ulti, I am able to position myself in such a way that they can't get to me. They have to focus on the front line before they can even get to me. And they are focusing on the Marana. And our Doom TP is in. Our PA is, is also joining the fight. We have a buyback from the Tusk. Our PA is popping off, she's jumping in and she's doing a lot of damage. She's jumping onto the Shadow Shaman, making sure that we can get him out of the fight. He also buys back now. Then the Tusk goes down, the Pudge goes down and we secure their tier 1 top. The team that we were playing against, I think we're feeling a little bit cheated because we ended up making such a massive comeback and now we're securing Roche for the PA and the next item I am going to upgrade my chrysalis into a shadow blade this is also just going to help me position myself a little better in the team fights now with Aegis in hand and all our items again saving buyback making sure that we are able to come back into the fight if it is needed we are going to now push their tier twos and then hopefully threaten the high ground and with Shadow Blade here, we decide to go on the Lina because she's mid and the Void does Chrono. Unfortunately, we do lose the Aegis, but that's okay. We get a buyback from the Lina and the Pudge ends up going down. The Venge swaps in the Shadow Shaman and he also ends up falling. And that is the Sniper game. We made a massive comeback in this game. It was, it was very difficult in the beginning, but late game, we pulled through. To secure the victory now the next item i probably would have gone with is dismantling i would have first dismantled my mask of madness i would have upgraded the morbid mask to a satanic and maybe the quarter staff to a butterfly this would have just given me more sustain and some evasion making me more annoying to deal with i could have also gone bkb but that was our sniper game 
and yeah, it was it was fun. I'm glad we won. Now, guys, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the game, what you would have done differently. Uh, I honestly love the comments. I love the suggestions that you come up with. So yeah, definitely leave a comment down below. And also, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace. Cheers.